Rule them to vectors, but it do. So we are going to solve the second question based on vectors in reference to the explanation given in the first part of the vectors on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, try to follow us on our Facebook page, like our videos. The following is the, the question and it goes like this. The following instructions lead to a buried treasure. Go 70 meters, 30 degrees west of south, 10 northwest, and walk 125 meters, then travel 100 meters, 20 degrees north of west. Determine the resultant displacement from starting point. So this vector, it is based on complanar vectors, whereby all the vectors, they start from the origin, which is 0, 0 on the xy plane. So I'll sketch, I'll show you a sketch of every vector independently and how we're going to read the angles. So in the second video, we said you have to be reading the, the, the angles from positive x axis going anticlockwise until you touch the same vector. So be careful. If they say north of west, south of west, uh, maybe east of west, the last angle or the last direction to be mentioned, that's where you're going to be starting from, you move in the direction until you touch the vector for instance if they say north of west automatically you have to move from westward going towards north until you touch that given vector okay so this is the table that you are going to use and here we have the vector each vector there we have the x component here we have the y component so you have to put all these uh, vectors in this specific table let me try to write and there we have the resultant and the resultant in x as well as the resultant in y okay so here is the entire sketch which uh, shows all the vectors on the same diagram now what does it mean if they say our vector has to has to have things like you have to go 75 meters 30 degrees west of south be careful how to write these angles because the one which is ending and the one which is saying west of where they do put of that's where you do start from and move to the side until you touch the end until you touch the vector what does it mean whenever they say 30 degrees uh, that is west of south west of south you have to start from south because they say west of south you have to move like this going towards it the west part and you write your 30 degrees somewhere there you come to the other vector which is saying we we'll have to go uh, northwest so all these two things like north northwest northeast they do mean things like you have to make sure that the angle which is uh, here and there they are supposed to be 45 degrees in short this line which is saying northwest has to divide the vectors or has to divide the angles into two say we have this sorry if you put this line somewhere there you if you write like this this is your x that is your y the angle which is here must be equal to that and this can be north of east sorry north of west so they must have the same angle even here we are going to have things like that this one 45 even here you can have 45 so here i'll write 45 or rather somewhere there I can also write 45 degrees then we have the, last, the other one which is uh, 100 meters uh, north of west so you have to move from here going like this until as you're moving from westward to it going to the northward which is going to have 20 degrees now I can draw this based on the diagram or maybe a table like method which is analytical method whereby you have to use the table for you to find the component and the resultant of component in x as well as in y then you find the magnitude of the resultant and finally you'll be able to reach on the final answer and you're going to use the same resultant of both axes to find or both components to find the so-called magnitude definitely it has to take you to uh, uh, the final answer so let me try to draw a table where i'm going to put all these vectors and i'll be able to plug in for me to find 
the resultant in x as well as in y like we did in the second part of the vectors which is the second video explaining one of the questions based on vectors all right so whenever you try to to move from positive x-axis going anti-clockwise that's when you're going to find the actual angles these are not actual angles for every vector they just show the direction uh, to be read from every um, every pole so if you're moving from positive x-axis you find that if you move like this then this vector is going to have the angle 90 degrees plus the 45 degrees which is given here remember this is north of west so it has 45 as well as sorry it, this is northwest so it must cut the angle in between which is 90 degrees dividing it into two so what i'm supposed to do for me to find the first theta i have to say 90 plus that one which is going to give me what 135 degrees that is the uh, the angle for vector b so b is going to have the angle 135 degrees you come to a so you come to c i'll do likewise by moving from here up to somewhere there so if you subtract this is a straight line you can say 180 minus 20 you are going to get the degrees of c as what well as 160 degrees then you come to a so since you are moving from here going like this what are you supposed to do this is 90 90 even this one is also 90 degrees what are you supposed to do you can just subtract this from 90 then you add the remaining angle to 180 if not like that then you say 270 minus this one you are going to get 240 degrees these are the angles for every vector as the, uh, as the real angles now i can plug in everything in the table someone might end up asking say why do we resolve vectors like this suppose we have this this is our resultant vector r and this is my angle remember the axis which is cut by the angle carries cos meaning that this is my x-axis that one is my y-axis so this axis the one which uh, is the one which is cut by the angle automatically it must co it must carry cos so whenever you're trying to resolve mean that the x component in this case must have what the resultant you say r you say cos because this one is having uh, a cos since it is cut by the angle you do like this cos what cos theta same applies to this one say y has to be put r sin theta same applies whenever you come back to the table which is showing all the values that i'm from plugging in you understand that this is more like the arrow given there and then this one is just like the theta which are from finding that's why we do like this whenever it comes to analytical method or a table method which is this one so i'll punch everything here and find the results same applies here and find the results so you find that whenever you punch the x uh, part of the component, you are getting an answer as negative 2 and 9. Now that is 0.85. That is the answer you are getting even here on the calculator. Then you come to the y component. I will do likewise by punching in. That is 75. You say sine 240 plus um, 1, 2, 5, sine, that is 1, 3, 5, plus 100, sine 160, like this. And what answer are we getting? We are getting our answer as 57.64 whenever you round off. So we are having 57.64 meters. Even here you have to put meters since we are dealing with the displacement. Remember, distance is not... A vector quantity here we are dealing with the displacement so we have found the resultant in x as well as the resultant in y now we can find the overall resultant which are from being asked in the question so we determine the resultant dis displacement from the starting point the starting point in this case they mean where they do intersect which is what sorry where they do start from at the origin yeah, so they do balance. That's why they are called complanar vectors. They all start from the first point. That's why they do balance up. And the resultant in this case is going to be based on what we are from finding here. So I can use the formula, which you normally use most of the times to say, whenever I want to find the resultant, the resultant error, which is magnitude, has to be equal to, you say, 
root of x r x square plus r y square and r is going to be equal to root of negative 219.85 square plus now we're going to come to for the y one 57.64 square the resultant is going to be equal to so whenever i try to punch this on the calculator you find that 219.85 square plus 57 point no, 64 square when we got that the root of the answer we are getting 227.28 the resultant has to be what it has to be 227.28 meters when this becomes the resultant i know i'm going to find the magnitude based on what we are from doing in the second part of the vectors Thank you for watching and take time to watch the second video since it is related to this one and know how to resolve the vectors as well as how to find the magnitude and the direction. Thank you.